Okay, we got another tip for the H96 H2 Max. If you want to remap keys on your physical wireless keyboard, like having a Bluetooth shortcut or giving yourself a power button, this is the way to do it. Go to your Google Play Store and install Button Remapper No Root. I know this box comes with root, but it gets a little bit buggy using the rooted version of this app. As you can see, I have remapped the letter P to long press it for five seconds to act as a virtual power button. Now, this works 50-50. When you power it down, it brings up the reboot and shutdown menu just like your remote does. Now, when it does power off, if the box loses signal with the remote, I mean with the keyboard, you're going to have to power it back on with the remote control. So this does work about 50-50. So it's not it's not the best, but it does work if you're doing a quick reboot. And if you want to toggle your Bluetooth and so on, do not remap the arrow keys or the D-pad. Same with the OK button. It's going to cause you a lot of problems. Best thing to remap is using the keyboard. It's going to ask for a couple of permissions. It's not intrusive. Nothing, um, no privacy issues or anything like that. So this is a good app and it's clean. And let me give a demonstration of how uh, the power button will work. I got my little keyboard here and I'm going to press and hold the P for five seconds. There you go. And we're going to uh, just do a simple reboot because I don't want to fight with the stick, uh, the box, in case it loses connection with the keyboard. There we go. When you do a power off with the uh, wireless keyboard, do not use the mouse pointer or the touchpad because it will think you're doing a secondary screen touch and it will exit the menu. So right now we're rebooting again. And that's basically how it works. You can have a Wi-Fi toggle, you can have a Bluetooth toggle, you can do a print screen toggle, you can remap as many keys as you want. If you want to do a combination of different keys, if you want to do a combination of different keys, you're going to have to buy the premium version. But for stuff like having long press of the P for the power or long press of the B for Bluetooth, long press of the W for Wi-Fi, as an example... You won't need the premium version. I hope this video helps and thank you for watching.